Hey, what's up guys? It's Armlocks and today I got a really cool video. It's uh, really it's something I want to do for a while. I got the idea from the exclusive ace. Like uh, I saw the exclusive ace not that long ago would do a series where he'd have people send in videos to him and he would break down their gameplay and uh, they'd talk about the good but also talk about the things that he could do better. And uh, this is a pretty good uh, gameplay that I that I had with Rockhead earlier. If you don't recognize uh, Rockhead333, the rock of all heads, uh, you might have saw him on my uh, Twitch channel. We do a lot of stream together. He's usually my my uh, partner in crime alongside in the party chat with me. And uh, I, I really think he's one of Call of Duty's um, MIPs, most improved players. Um, and there's nothing special about Rockhead. You know, he got into this game because he wanted a way to bond with his son. Um, his son was really into Call of Duty, and he thought it'd be really good uh, father-son time if he kind of learned how to play as well. And, you know, he doesn't have a scuff controller. He plays... Um, on a like he's basically on I, on I, me as host when we're playing so he's usually three barring and um you know he's no spring chicken i want to say he's like 47 48 so it's not like he has the reflexes of a young 16 year old but he is steadily improving in this game and uh, i think this gameplay is an example of that so let's talk about the good the bad and the ugly i don't think there's too much ugly but let's break it down let's go rockhead as you can see it looks like he's rocking the uh uh, KM44, and this is a game of safeguard on uh, Stronghold, obviously. Let's take this opener out. You notice he never boosts. I told you, he doesn't have a scuff controller. He's a very basic player. Um, here he's utilizing cover to his advantage and picks up, uh, ooh, a double bubble. See how he's using uh, cover there? Now, if I was him, I would be going to check my flank because, yeah, there he is. I think, oh, he's going to reload right there. Okay. So, again, uh, chilling behind cover. Look at him. Not an aggressive player, not someone who's going to be jumping up in the spawns and um, really pushing the action. He's just a steady Call of Duty player. And there he's just, you know, oh, look at that. He picked up another one. Look at him. Is he on a roll? Oh, bloodthirsty. Oh, Rockhead, you're hurt when you get tagged. Okay, see, so you see right there, He um, what he should have done as soon as he noticed that the other enemy got hit markers onto him first. What I would have done is I would have ran behind cover and healed up, but uh, that's okay. He got a bloodthirsty there, so he's off to a really good start. Looks like he's going to go to the same spot. Oh, reliable. Look at him. <laughs> he's going right to the same spot, Rockhead. Oh, oh, please don't work out for him. You know, it's always... It's always the deer that go to the same watering hole to get water that get killed by the hunter. But not Rockhead. Rockhead's still on a roll. He doesn't care. Oh, they came up on his flank. Where was the team married at? Where were you at, Armlocks? Where was I at? I just let him sneak up on you, homie. That's my bad. I was probably pushing the spawn. How you doing, by the way? We're seven and two. Look at Rockhead, seven and two. So he's he's uh he's doing his thing. You know what? I think I might have made a mistake. I don't. This isn't safeguard. This is actually team deathmatch. So I hope I I hope I chose the right video. I went back into theater mode and I'm like, okay, which one was it again? Cause I bu bookmarked a few of them. So okay, there there's me pushing up. See arm locks there. Oh, look at that! He saved my life. Thank you, Rockhead. I actually know that guy killed me. He got revenge for me. Look at him. Okay, and then he runs to reload. Okay, good. Way to get out of there when you're hurt. That was smart. That was smart. Again, he he, ne he never boosts. He, he's very much boots on the ground. You know what, but he's he's got good common sense. He knows all the game modes, and he's a pretty smart dude. You know, pretty smart dude. Oh, oh, he's caught out in the open there, but oh, he got a double bubble. See, now that's a risky gunfight, especially the first one. The first, look, that guy, oh, you see how that guy should have stayed behind cover. Rockhead should probably move to get behind cover or something. There he goes. Okay, now he's reading his map better. He realized that the spawn slipped. Man, and he's doing his thing. Look at him. Third, 12 and 3. Go, Rockhead. Go. And you guys got to understand, when I say most improved player, when Rockhead first started, it would be a miracle if he broke even, okay? The last, I don't know, few weeks, there's been several games where Rockhead's been standing out, getting in the winner's circle, and I believe this is a, just another example of that. So he's got his care package there. I'm sure he's tickled to death. <laughs> I'm sure he's tickled to death because how often does he earn that? No, I'm kidding, bro. So he's calling that in, and let's see what he gets. You know, so I, I keep telling him that every time, since he loves, he got the Rolling Thunder. Uh, since he loves to run that that K 
care package so much, I keep telling him he had to run engineer. You know, that way he can re-roll the care package, and more often than not, you get a good, you know, something good out of it, right? I, okay, so he's he's rocking his rolling thunder. I see it took him a whole hour to uh, to figure out how to position his rolling thunder on the uh, little screen there. <laughs> so that's one thing you should probably. He's probably not used to calling those in. So I don't. Oh, did that actually kill him? Yeah, he got killed by his own. Okay. That's the one thing about Rolling Thunder, man. Uh, and I'm no different. I've called, I don't know how many times I've called in the Rolling Thunder. I actually killed myself with my own Rolling Thunder. How embarrassing. How's he doing? He's 16 and 5, so he's still rocking socks. Look at him. He's going to take down the Sparrow. Look at him. Shot him right in the arse. Good job. Forrest Gumped him. <laughs> you guys remember that part of the Forrest Gump movie where, where he's talking about getting shot in the buttocks? It jumped up and bet me. <laughs> Good job, Rockhead. Look at him. Checking his flank, although. Yeah, okay. He's going to he's going to relocate. Probably a good choice. That's a good choice. I don't like to to stay at, Oh, oh, we got caught. Oh, the hit fire gods. The hit fire gods was on his side. He thought he got caught unawares there, but uh, I think he's rocking uh uh fast hands and quick draw, so for sure the fast hands getting those shots off while sprinting uh faster helped him there. He loves his head glitch. Slow and steady wins the race with Rocket. He's 20 and 5. Look at this. Oh, he's just... That was a Hail Mary war machine, and he actually got the kill with it. Look at him. If, if he was looking at the map, he'd know that they flipped the spawn. There he goes. Now he realizes they flipped the spawn. Get him, Rocket. Oh, look at him. That's the one thing about Rocket, too. He loves that war machine. I don't know how many games... Uh, he plays without using the war machine. He just really enjoys having those big guns in his hands, uh, which is, an, I'm really surprised he's not using the dingo or the dredge. He, he loves those big guns, man. The sun's out, and he says the guns are out. So, he, oh, he's thinking about calling in that care package. That's where he dropped it last time. Look at it. He's still thinking about it. Okay, now he worked up the courage to throw it down. Good job. He knows he's doing good, too. 22 and 5. He's he's tearing it up. He's actually got more kills than me. Died less than me so far. Um, oh, and he got the hardened century. He should lock down a lane. Let's see where he throws it. Let's talk about this placement. Um, okay. Oh, he's going to throw it right here. Yeah, okay. Not too bad. Look at him. Nice, and he picked up the kill right away. Good job, buddy. This is my first time watching this, by the way. I, I remember playing this game, but just watching it through his perspective, I've never, this is the first time, so. And now he's just letting his hardened sentry go to town, man. His hardened sentry's doing, doing a great job. It's positioned well, but looks like, nope, the spawns are still, still uh, the same. I wouldn't jump up there. That was an unnecessary jump right there. And, and I, like, he, yeah, I would relocate because there's no business showing your face up there without any cover. Now, the spawns have clearly flipped. He should now, he should now do... S oh, he is! Look, I was just saying that! What a heads-up play, Rockhead! Way to go! Man, you read my mind. This is why we work so well as a team. Now he's going to position again. He really wants a hard century to go off. Oh, look at him! He's in his Cerberus, too! He's got his Cerberus and another hardened sentry! He's gonna lay it down. He knows there's no time left, but he's like, heck with, heck with it. I'm gonna show off. And he got the last kill! Get out of town, Rockhead! That was an excellent game by Rockhead. And, um, I, I guess the, one of the reasons why I wanted... There's my son going off. One of the reasons why I wanted to make this was to show that anyone can improve over time in Call of Duty. You don't have to be Scump or, or a pro player. Um... All Rockhead does is he watches the exclusive Ace and learns tips and tricks from Ace, and uh, as well as me in Twitch, you know. And I, I've learned from people that are much greater than me, and that's pretty much what Rockhead's doing. And he's come a long way. And I just wanted to—I felt like I should share this gameplay because there's so many times that, in, in a jokingly way, we give him so much crap uh, and tease him a lot. But the truth of the matter remains that he's come a long way and has improved so much. And uh, this is an example of that. So congrats, Rockhead to uh, keep it real on the highest level, doing such a good job. And, um, yeah, can't wait to get some more games in with you now after watching this, man. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time.